Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and today I'm opening up a doll package I ordered all the way back in June of 2021. This is a Doll Legend 61cm body, and it'll be for Tall, whose head is a work in progress I hope to finish sculpting this spring. The box said this side up, but it looks like the bottom to me since the labels were on the other side, and it's also weirdly hard to open. That's probably because it's apparently not actually a box, and appears to just be some cardboard bent to shape and taped around the doll box. It's also definitely the bottom, even though the sticker on the side said this was up, so I'm gonna have to flip that over to get this out of here. Ordering this doll body was kind of a weird and stressful experience, because I ordered during an event and was super excited, but shortly afterward the company discontinued literally all of their dolls with only three days notice. When that happened, people started mentioning orders being cancelled, so I wasn't positive this doll would actually come home. I had ordered through Alice's collection, so I knew I would get a refund if there were problems, but they assured me my order had been accepted. It just took more than five months for it to finally come in, and after the doll shipped, it spent about a month stuck in Shanghai because of shipping being so backed up. But he made it, and I'm relieved to finally have him here. When I ordered him, I also got him a pair of shoes, because one of my goals for this year is to make sure every doll is fully dressed. I got a pair of boots for Vaughn too, because Vaughn has never had his own shoes. I'll open those up a little later, but they look great, and I got them on sale. So then we're on to the doll body. He came with S-hooks for the hands I got as part of the event, and he came with an S-hook puller, which is pretty useful because I've never actually had one of those. The doll's COA is a really neat little laser cut and engraved metal card. And the doll himself was not wrapped at all. He just had some bubble wrap laid on top of him and some plastic wrap around his body, which was a little weird, but it is what it is. I originally wanted this doll to be tan, but the doll legend tan was way too dark for the character. I ordered him in normal resin instead, figuring I can probably blush or dye him to give him an appropriate skin tone, but I didn't expect the normal resin would be this pale. This is tied with Impeldoll for being the palest normal resin I have ever seen. And on that note, Impeldoll and Doll Legend are a great color match for normal. Since we try to keep things family friendly around here, and this guy is like most ball jointed dolls in that he is anatomically correct, we'll be adding a sticker for censorship before the posing review starts. Conveniently, I have these stickers of my book covers I make for use in my planner, so I'm just going to take the cover of his first book, and yeah, that'll take care of that. So first off, this guy is incredibly smooth. Like, there is not a single hint of seam lines anywhere on this doll. No sign he has ever been in a mold. No sanding marks. Nothing. The finishing work is top notch. The number of joints and the sculpting on the torso are really what sold me on this particular doll body. Tall is a master thief who enjoys acrobatics, so I wanted him to have a lean but very muscular physique without sacrificing mobility, and hopefully this will meet my expectations and work well for the character. Since mobility is key for him, I placed my order when I did because the company was offering a free pair of jointed hands, which can easily cost $100 on their own. I've never had jointed hands for any of my dolls before, but I figured they'd be perfect for tall. Unfortunately, I also never expected the hooks in the hands would be so tiny. I don't know why. As a result, I'm really afraid the hypermobility in my own hands means I won't be able to put these back together. So I think dyeing the doll to get the skin tone I wanted is going to be out of the question. Kind of disappointing, but maybe I can try a full body blush or find someone else who can help me put them back together after a dye job. I absolutely love the hands though, and they're a lot easier to pose and manipulate than I thought they would be. The hands are the only thing out of their product lineup Doll Legend still sells, and these are beautiful. The hands seem to be a shade larger than the ones that come with the doll's body, but I don't think that'll be a problem because Tall's in his late teens, and it's not unusual for teenagers to have hands and heads that are a shade large compared to the rest of their everything.
So then it was time for a mobility check, which unfortunately did not get off to a great start. The body is double jointed, so he can bend his arm really nicely and reach up behind his neck without issue. But the shape of the elbow joint prevents any kind of side to side movement at all. There's no rotation without completely dislodging the elbow from the arms, and that's just not going to be acceptable for this character. I'm going to have to do something about that issue because Tall needs to be able to rotate his arms. The feet point farther than I expected given that the ankle doesn't look like it has a lot of space, so that's good, and I have no complaints about the knees because the leg has a mobility joint in the thigh. The thigh joint is actually really interesting because it has notches that hold the leg straight, but it's also got notches that let you rotate the leg and have it lock at an angle, which is something I haven't seen before, and I think that's very nice. His legs and arms hold poses nicely straight out of the box. I'm just so disappointed with those elbows though. The shoulder too is shaped in a way that restricts the side to side movement for the arm and it doesn't hold the raised pose very well yet, so he'll need some work to bring his arms up to a level that competes with the rest of the body. His hands don't move a whole lot, I think the ankles actually have more motion in them, but that may change with suading and the addition of his jointed hands. He stands well and balances easily though. The three part torso promises a lot of mobility, but I found it didn't move very easily, so that's going to be hard to use. He's not strung super tight, so I can only assume that it's that the torso locks are very strong. I managed to get his chest to push back, but when I tried to pull it forward, it would not budge, and I ended up losing my grip while pulling forward, and his S-hook bit my hand pretty good. So I pushed from the back instead, and that got him moving. He does have very deep locks in the chest, which means he'll hold several degrees of slouching, and he's got big locks in the waist joint too, so when he does bend, he is very stable. I spent some time wrangling him into a more appropriately thiefy pose, and overall it looks pretty promising, especially if I'll be able to make some modifications to his elbows to get more mobility there. However, I had to stop to get a bandage because it turned out that bite he gave me was actually pretty bad. Which means that after more than 4 years, this is officially the first time I have bled during the making of a video. At least now I know what the S-hook puller is for. Using the puller to manipulate the very stiff torso locks makes it easier and also safer. He sits nicely, but trying to get him to unsit ended up just looking like he was a child having a temper tantrum on the floor. Like when toddlers do that noodle thing and their spine just turns to jelly and they slither out of your arms. That is not acceptable, sir, and considering you bit me, I should be the one having a fit. Even with the limited range of motion in the elbows, I feel like this body has an excellent range of motion overall and should be easy to improve. He's definitely flexible enough to be the character he's meant to be, though the locks and the torso aren't the most attractive when put into extreme poses. I just hope I'll be able to fix his arms and figure out something for making him a little more tan. Before I finish, I took some time to open up the boots I ordered. The ones for Vaughn are a lot nicer than I thought they would be, and I can already tell they'll fit the SIDs perfectly. 
and while Tall wears split-toed shoes to help him climb, he doesn't wear them all the time, so I thought these boots with the buckles would be a good start for him. Since this doll was discontinued after I ordered, I wasn't sure it would still be useful for me to review the body, but there will always be some on the secondhand market, so hopefully it benefits someone else someday. And if you've got any ideas for how I can go about giving this boy a tan without unstringing his hands, I am all ears. And that's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye.